Okay, so first of all, I'll select the chart and then add in a trend line. Then I'll double click on the trend line to open up the formatting pane. And then I'll display an equation on the chart. Then I'll make this equation easier to see. And in order to get these numbers in a formula, we need to use the linist function or the line st function. And we'll select the known y's and then select the known x's. For the constant, we'll select true and for stats, we'll select false. And then we end up with the same numbers here as we have in the chart. Now I'll click on the trend line and change it to a polynomial. And it defaults to order two, so we now have a quadratic equation. In order to get these numbers in the formula, we need to edit it. So we'll take the known x's and we'll add in a caret symbol then a set of curly brackets and inside the brackets we'll put 1 comma 2 and enter and now we get the same numbers here as we have in the chart now there's also a second way of doing this if i insert a new column here i will take x and raise it to the power of 2 so i will take x and multiply it by x in order to get x squared. Then I can use the linist function again and select the known y's. And this time for the known x's, we'll select both of these columns. And then for the constant, we'll again select true. And for stats, we'll select false and enter. And we get the same numbers. And this is because the maths is the same in both of the formulas. Here we are taking the x values and then raising them to the power of 1. So we get the same numbers. And then we're raising it to the power of 2. So we get x squared. And that is the same as what we are doing in the second formula when we select both of these columns. Now, if we wanted to get the equation for a polynomial order 3, then we would need to edit this and we would need to add in a comma 3 here and enter. And then we get the same numbers here as we have in the chart. Okay, and that is everything.